This could be an A cam for me one day. Maybe not today, but one day, primarily because this does feel like a Komodo X competitor. No. You don't think so? No. They're not in the same they're no. not in the same league? No, they're not even for the same this type is of a project. Prosumer camera, is that what you're saying? That's not what I'm saying at all. <laughs> I think if there's any camera that should be worried of this camera. Uh, did I say worried? You tried to compare I said it. it's in the same it's league. It's not in the same league. Wow. They're two totally different cameras. Canon, we are our own people. No, y'all are <laughs> fighting with Sony over there for the FX6. That's what this camera feels like. Wow. This feels like an FX6 That's style some camera. shade? No, they just threw a bunch of like broadcast type stuff in there that I think will be helpful for those type of productions. Like, it's just, I'm sorry, like 12 stops or 12 bit raw. Okay. You're just not. What, do you, what are you working with? On the Komodo X? I want... Is it 16? It's 16 bit raw. Uh. Across, like, across uh. red raw. Now, granted, do I like Do you even know flavors. what to do with that much color? Yeah, I grade it. <laughs> you can see it in the shadows. You can see it in the skin, bro. You don't need 16 bit. Mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, my, my thoughts are, I think this is a good camera. I don't think the same productions that are going to look at a Komodo are really going to be looking at this camera because this mm. camera is set up for a different type of use case. Like even the little port they put on the br on the front to be able to run their server, uh, you know, um, lenses or whatever. Like yeah. that's, that's for a different type of production. Mm -hmm. Like, I think you're going to see this on a lot of like documentary style stuff. Yes. A lot of stuff where you're shooting live productions and you're using it on sticks and you're working with those servo type lenses. I think that this will be a lot of production companies like we're just shooting a interview style video. Okay. That's fine. Okay. You're not making a film, I think, oh. with this camera. Hold on one second. The rebuttal. <laughs> what two cameras were most compared to each other when they sort of came out at the same time? Okay. So the I understand you are going to say it's C70. the C70 and the Komodo. Komodo. But the reason because wasn't because of the types of cameras they were. Because. It was the price point. Absolutely. So <laughs> what I'm saying is I don't agree, I don't think that Komodo X users are going to go and sell their Komodo Xs. I don't think that production houses are going to get rid of their Komodo Xs. I'm not saying that. I am saying that at probably $2,000 less. Is that, is that fair? How much is uh, this new Although one? the the Canon comes ready out the box. Okay. What does this one come out? 8000 8000 Ready out the box. If you are buying a camera yes. solely because you're like, I have $10,000 to spend. <laughs> now I'm going to go buy a camera for $10,000 because <laughs> I have $10,000. I think you're making a really bad decision. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So no. anyways, hold on. No, I didn't no, rebut no, yet. I didn't problem. rebut yet. I didn't rebut yet. I, I'm just saying... I think that, well, I can agree that there are some things that Red obviously is doing better at that price range. I don't know that they are direct apples to oranges comparison, you know, like sort of deal. But I will say that at $8,000, they are going to retain the people that would have jumped shipped to Komodo or to an FX nine or that sort yes. of deal. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that like all of a sudden, like the world is going to sell everything they have because the Canon is so much better. But like a person like me, when I'm thinking about jumping into maybe a completely different ecosystem, yeah. I'm thinking, Oh, maybe they can, maybe they can grow with me. Yeah. I, I do agree with that. I think that if you were currently in the Canon ecosystem and you were thinking, Black Magic Ursa, or you were thinking Sony FX6, um, then yes, you might be like, oh, okay, I'm good now. I'm comfortable with where we're currently Stop sitting. Stop the bleeding, Canon. Yes. Stop the and bleeding. That, but my thought is when it comes to cameras in this space, I think people have very specific needs. Once oh, you yeah. start spending six to $10,000 on a camera, you are looking specifically at like, okay, what do I need this camera to do? Mm -hmm. And does this camera do it? And the global shutter and the 16 exactly. bit. So that's, yeah, yeah. that's, that's the only, if you're doing virtual the production stuff. That I, that's the only pushback I'm giving you on your, Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I don't think anyone who was going to buy a Komodo X is looking at this camera and going, Oh, well this handles everything I wanted out of the Komodo X for $2,000 cheaper. Cause it does it. 
it doesn't have the stuff that the Komodo X gives you. No, that's fair. That's the reason why people pick the Komodo X. 100% fair. That's the only pushback yes. I have for you. Now, for all you Canon fanboys out there who <laughs> just want to be very excited about this camera, you should be. Yes. You should be very excited that Canon finally gave you something to work with. You know what I mean? Especially in the full frame range. I like the fact that it's 6K. Could it have been 8K? Yeah. Do I think 8K is a little overhyped sometimes? Yes. And that's even as a Raptor owner, I can say that. You don't really need 8K for a lot of stuff. So 6K is kind of like that perfect sweet spot. I also think at the price, getting it below 10 grand, but like well below, so that way you could spend some extra money on accessories and stuff, great spot to be. No, uh, but I don't think it's a bad deal. I think, but here's my thing. I don't know if it is, everybody's talking about how this camera's supposed to be magical. I'm looking for something that's going to actually make people want to jump ship and make people change behaviors, not just give existing Canon shooters another option. I don't know if this camera did that for anybody. So, Brandon, you kind of mentioned this a little bit before, but do we see this being any sort of camera killer? Do we see this like being a camera in which people are like, you know what? I'm going to sell my FX3. Do we see this as an FX6 replacement? Um, is this a, you know, kind of said it before. I don't think we're going to get this, this answer out of you, but is this better than maybe the Komodo? Maybe not the Komodo X. What do we think? Where are we feeling like this camera lies in the whole sphere of cameras right now? I don't think anybody is jumping ship from their current brand for this camera. I really don't. Um, that said... I think that this camera definitely has maybe a Panasonic shooter who needs <laughs> <laughs> who needs a so much hate. <laughs> there's no hate here. There's so much hate. This might be a camera that has a Panasonic shooter out there who needs a cinema camera where that has all the buttons and all the features for the production. They're not just gonna go jump to a Sony FX6. Yeah. So I don't think I think if you're not in any particular camp right now and you can go Sony for this type of camera or go Canon for this type of camera, I think it is good enough to make you question, should I go to the Sony FX6 or should I go with this camera? I think it's good enough to do that. But if you're already in the Sony world, you already have an FX3, you ain't jumping ship for this camera. I just don't think you're going to do it. And something else that you mentioned earlier, I feel like if you are a C500 Mark II owner right now or a C300 Mark II owner, you're ecstatic right now. Mm -hmm. Like this is your camera. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, And you can buy this camera right now because comparative to your cameras, it's not that expensive, mm -hmm. right? Comparatively. Yeah, you could probably expensive. sell your cam... Well... No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I you can't get nothing? You don't think they get nothing? C three hundred, B and H, they're 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 doing something. They're doing Those something. cameras, yeah, they're they're, <laughs> they're, they're, they're they're pushing them to the back of the shelf to make room for the new C four hundred. That's what they're doing. Let's no, see. I think right now, if you are trying to get a C, if you are if you are a C five hundred owner or you're a C three hundred owner, this is definitely your time to go ahead and upgrade to the C four hundred with confidence. Yeah, and honestly, like. I don't really think you got to worry about a C600 coming out like in a, you know, in a short period of time because I think that they specifically put this camera right in the middle because if you remember like C300s and C500s always came out together. Mm -hmm. They were like, cool, here are two options. So that way you can know, pick this one or pick this one. Here are two options. Pick this one or pick this one. This time they were like, here is one camera. This is the camera to pick right now. And if they, but if they were to drop a C600, let's say next month or in three months i think you have a lot of pissed off c400 owners caleb pull up caleb's question he says brady you just can't feel the magic i i can't feel the magic and it's like and but that's not saying much i'll be honest with you like full transparency when the komodo first was announced mm -hmm. i was ecstatic and then i saw footage from it and the magic was gone <laughs> i was like oh no what happened then it turns out those people just didn't know what they were doing. 
I went and found Joey Helms. He posted some of his content. I was like, oh, no, this camera is magical. It just people weren't using it the right way, mm -hmm. right? I'm saying that may, hopefully the opposite is true in this situation where it's like I need to see somebody actually use this camera. Yes. And maybe it is magical. You know what I mean?